In this video, I want to show you how to fix an unusable USB key in Windows 10 in case, for instance, you used it to put another operating system on it and you cannot use it anymore in Windows 10. In a previous video I made, I showed you how to fix this using disk part in Windows 10. But the disk part method doesn't apply always. So sometimes the USB, you cannot see it in disk part or you get an error message. This method I'm going to show you now is with Rufus. Let's download Rufus. So open your web browser and go to rufus.ie, hit enter. Scroll down to the middle of the page and choose Rufus Portable. Click on it and it will be downloaded. Go to the Downloads folder and then launch Rufus Portable here. Double click on it. Choose Yes if prompted. And here also choose Yes for updates. Let me minimize all these windows. And now Rufus will start. Here I already inserted a USB key that I used for Chrome OS that as you see it has many many partitions and it became unusable and I cannot even format it in Windows. So to fix this it's very easy. In Rufus, after you select the correct USB key and make sure you select the correct one because the operation I'm going to show you it will wipe everything. So here I have only one USB key in my PC. I selected it. It's a 32 GB SanDisk USB key. And here under boot selection click the drop down arrow and choose non-bootable and under file system choose between FAT32, NTFS or XFAT so here I'm choosing FAT32 and for the other options leave everything by default and simply click on start here you'll get a warning message that everything will be wiped on the USB key of course if you're sure that you are selecting the correct USB key click on OK to continue and here also, this is a warning saying that this USB key has multiple partitions. Click on OK to continue. And the operation will start. So it will delete the partitions first. And then it will format the USB key. It shouldn't take long. And here it is. Let me close it now. And let's see if it is accessible in Windows now. So let me go to this PC and you see that the USB key is accessible now in Windows. And that was all. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you did, please share it, subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.